today, just a few minutes ago, I got my VMUG Advantage membership squared away. I actually re-upped um, another year of subscription. I've been a member for many years. There's many ways to get your vSphere code, which is vCSA appliance coupled with the ISO for ESXi itself. So those two files, I'm going to show you how to get downloaded from the VMUG Advantage program. Now I'll point out again, they've bought ad space at TiggerTry. I couldn't be happier than to have um, that organization um, with an ad spot on my site and also a TinkerTry discount code for 10% off of your shopping cart. So if you go here, you can read all about the many advantages. I'm going to leave it as simple as possible and just say this. If you buy something like VMware Workstation every year for, um, <laughs> well, almost as much money as this costs, uh, you get a whole lot more with this, okay? There's a lot you get here, not just the code that I'm about to show you, that's part of the eval experience, that's the portion we're diving into, but all these other benefits, especially if you're in the midst of certification or active in user groups, okay? Look at the amount of code you can get here. So today, again, focusing on this one, vSphere 7. So let's get back to it, my downloads article. Notice I've got multiple logos here because there's different ways, different places to get your download from. We're gonna focus on this one. And basically I'm developing or testing right now that the download links and everything's gonna work out just fine. So let's start with getting the large download going, 6.4 gigabytes. And there's a shopping cart. So first we gotta log in. And you'll see that uh, I've direct linked right to the product. So I didn't need to circle or give you a, a hints at what to uh, search for in the product search across the large catalog. Nope, I just jump you right to the page. That's a big advancement over the last time I recorded a video like this. I think it was two plus years ago. So it got easier since six, seven. Great. Now I'm not ready yet. Not ready to download because I have a second file I want to get. So I'm just going to back arrow or just back up in my browser. Let's get this in my shopping cart as well. Okay, so we got one item in the shopping cart. Let's add the other. Great. Now I'm ready to check out. All right. Now the program is not meant for production use. I'll point that out. A little bit of survey and we got some red asterisks. So these are required. pretty straightforward, right? You get the license keys right on the screen where you're going to be getting your bits from. And that's kind of awesome. Put them in something like a password manager or print it into a you know, safe you have, whatever you want to do to keep your life organized. You're going to want to keep those, but you should be able to get them at a later date as well. I just haven't confirmed that lately. Notice you get a confirmation email as if you just ordered it, but I already subscribed to the program. Okay. Now, if you follow along with this video and didn't pay it, yeah, you'll be asked to pay for membership um, for a year of these license keys that will last for a year that you can re-up. If you renew the program membership, uh, you end up with another year. You can actually, uh, at one point, I think you could buy three years at once. I think now it's year by year. And um, you don't lose anything in your lab. You don't have to rebuild or start all over. So that's an important thing to point out. All right, here we go. Great. They made it even easier. You can actually get all your bits downloaded from VMware vCenter server. It gives you both the appliance and the downloader. Right there, they preview the name of the file, which is awesome. And that is an exact match, 2498. And here they preview the name of the hypervisor file as well. And that is also an exact match. So I am pleased that with all of that. And there it is, Cashfly. So Cashfly is our content delivery network. That's who's deciding how fast the bits can come down. And there was a hiccup there for some reason. 
So yeah, in about an hour or a little under, I'll have all the code I need to go ahead with an install. A few minutes later and I realized people might ask, uh, how do you get license keys or re-download if you need to at a later date? So just click on your account slash orders and then go to view details. You can see this is April 7th, 2020. And there we go. We have the license keys, which it calls serial numbers and a download button. It's an hour later, the downloads have finished and you'll notice that they have the same exact file name and size. They're the same bits. And I've actually run a file compare to do a bit for bit copy. <laughs> Not only have the same file name, but they are the same file contents. So that's it. Those are the two files you need. You can see I downloaded them on GA day, April 2nd, and then download them again tonight, recording this video. So hopefully you found this video helpful. I want to thank you again for watching and for visiting Tinker Try IT at home. Please consider signing up for the newsletter that's right here. Just put your address there. Um, also subscribing to the YouTube channel is very helpful as well. And you'll see a playlist for you right there. Here's the full play playlist for vSphere 7, but it's growing. Thank you again for all your support for almost nine years of blogging and video content production. Stay safe.